Happy Sunday! Welcome to the studio. I'm so excited that you're here. Yay! Because today we are starting the 100 days of collage. Oh! <laughs> the 100 day project was started on Instagram like oh, years ago, years ago, to encourage creative folks to create every day, to make art, to share that art and to develop that creativity. What a fabulous idea, absolutely fabulous. And you can find more hashtag 100 days of collage or the 100 day project on Instagram. So we're starting here on YouTube today, 100 days of collage. You know that's a bunch, right? <laughs> it's like, this is a 14 week mini series. <laughs> it's huge, it's huge. Last year was the first time I did the 100 day project. I absolutely loved it. I had such a great time. This year I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. We're not just going to keep to an art journal. We're going off the page, out of the box. I know, right? Anything's going to be possible. We're going to work in art journals, absolutely. Standard art journal, the black art journal, the travel journal, I'm going to use all of those. I'm also going to use watercolor paper some paper packaging, maybe some little bit more mixed media techniques. There's so many things I want to show you. We're also going to be creating collage on canvas. Really, there isn't too much that we're not going to be doing. <laughs> so maybe the 100 days might turn into a few more days. One week might actually merge into the next. Not quite sure, but it does go for 14 weeks and I have 14 topics. Each week will be a brand new topic and within that week will be seven collages of that topic. I know, it's so fun and so epic. You have to join me. In this episode, week one, collage one, I'm going to be sharing with you my five tips of how to have a successful project because I really want you to join me on this journey. There is such an incredible opportunity to develop your creativity, to learn new skills, to have fun. Because really, if it's not fun, I'm not gonna play. <laughs> it has to be fun. Now, if you're the kind of person that likes to be organized and very prepared, the 14 weeks of topics will be available to you on my website. It's called The List. <laughs> So you'll find it on the front homepage of my website, forallart.com, and you can download the list. You just need to put in your email and then it will come into your inbox uh, and it will have the 14 weeks. Just remember, disclaimer, it's subject to change. <laughs> but we will be sticking to the topics mostly and we'll see what we can create within these topics. I'm just so excited for this project. It's going to be so much fun. Now, if you want to be surprised every week, then don't download the list. It's quite simple, really. If you only want to find out each week what we're going to do for that week, then each Sunday I'm going to tell you. This week we're starting with doors. I love doors. I love using them, collaging them. I love using them as image transfers. I love to tear them up, put them in my artworks. Absolutely love. Why do I love doors? Well, we'll discuss that as we start creating. So really, we just need to jump on in and get to it. Yippee! Hope you're gonna join me. How very exciting our first week of 100 days of collage. I've been so busting to get to this series. Now, if you watched last week's episode, I was making um, some jelly prints bouncing from the inspiration of this fabulous photo that I took in Venice. I just love it so much. And I did print rather a few, <laughs> just a few hundred jelly prints in these colors that work really well with this image. I bounced off the color of the walls there. I created some color mixing and it was really fun. Make sure you check it out. So I'm going to start with this image because week one is doors. I absolutely love using doors. What is it about doors that I love so much? Well, it's possibilities. I love the possibilities of what doors represent. It's a new year, it's a new season, it's a new series, and it's everything is possible. I love that so much. There's so much creative energy. Where are you going through that door? What, what is it leading to? 
Yes, that's why I love doors so much. So we're starting with week one of our 100 days of collage with doors because it's open for so many incredible possibilities. Now I'm putting this image off center. I don't want it right smack bang on center because that's too obvious and boring. So I'm going to put my beautiful image off center. Now, if you want to join me and create exactly with these images that I'm using this week, you will find uh, these, my beautiful photos from Venice. Oh, take me back. <laughs> On my Etsy store, Froil Art Designs, and you can download them as digital collage papers. Yay. Now, of course, you don't have to use these images you can find other images from different websites, free images from uh, royalty-free websites. Make sure you're using royalty-free websites because you don't want somebody to jump up and bite you because you use that image without permission. I like to use Unsplash, but there's a whole other range of different websites you can use. Now I'm using Matte Gel Medium. It's a Liquitex Basics range. I love using this for collage because it's affordable. You squeeze it out, I get it easy. It's at Warehouse Stationery, yay! Uh, but you can use anything. That's just what I'm using because I get asked these questions all the time. You will find a material list under the video in the description and links for different things if you wanna go on and have a look. Just have a look there, you'll find it. Now, 100 days is huge, so I've got five tips for how to make it easier for you so that you can be successful. Number one, go at your own pace. The YouTube videos will be here for as long as YouTube's here, which is, you know, going to be a while. So you can go back at any time and watch the videos. In fact, I'll put together a playlist for you so that you can click on and go through the videos, catch up ones you missed or rewatched ones that you weren't ready for yet. Because this project is self-directed, so um, you want to just go at your own pace. Don't stress out if I'm up to like week four and you're only just starting or whatever, whatever. Don't stress out about anything, actually. I will be putting up, hopefully, a new topic each Sunday, but you know, I may not even get to that new topic each Sunday because I have to move house. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you should come and help me. <laughs> and there might be some weeks that I might not actually get everything done that I would like to do. Now, what I'm doing is putting this beautiful jelly print. Oh, look at the textures on it. It's just fantastic. If you watched last week, you would have seen me make it. Um, I'm going to wrap it around the sides because what I personally like when I work on a canvas is wrapping that paper around the sides because it looks really neat and professional let me tell you and it just makes your artwork look more finished anyway what was i saying go at your own pace so don't stress out that you're only just starting or haven't started or didn't catch up or missed an episode don't stress about that at all this is a project to help you develop your creativity. It's for fun. It's self-directed. All the videos will be there in a playlist for you so you can watch them when you can get to it. And you might only want to create one project in each theme. You might not even want to do all hundred of them. You don't have to, right? There's no rules. <laughs> So allow yourself to enjoy the process. So number one, go at your own pace. Number two, be inspired by the prompts, but interpret them your own way. You definitely don't have to use my doors. You can if you want. They are available. But you might want to do other types of doors. You might want to do open doors. You might want to do abstract doors. Oh, my gosh. There's so many ways to interpret a prompt like doors. It's really open and broad, which is what all the prompts will be, because I want to see what you want to create with this particular prompt. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. So interpret the prompts your own way. Don't feel pressured to have to do it the same way that I'm doing it, because you definitely don't have to. 
You can do it your way. It's your project. So just do it the way you want to do it. Number three, use what you have. Like, hello, you might have noticed that I started with a canvas <laughs> because, well, I'm starting to clear out my studio because I had to move. <laughs> So I found this canvas, it wasn't that great. I wasn't happy with the artwork and I put a layer of gesso on it and now I'm recycling it. Use what you have. Don't rush out and buy a whole heap of new things. Use the paints you have, the stencils you've got, the paper, collages or canvas or whatever. Have a look around and pull out stuff that, you know, you bought because you had a little tangent about something but you haven't actually used it. Don't like tell me that that's not true because I know that it is because I've done it myself. <laughs> so use what you have, pull out some old canvases or even paper or whatever and recycle it. Throw a bit of gesso on it and it bring it back to new again and cover it because hello, collage covers a multitude of sins. Seriously. Number four, there's no wrong. You might not want to do the same as I'm doing, and that's really okay. It's your creative project. There's no wrong with this. However you decide to interpret the prompts and create your collages, you know, give yourself a break, baby. Whatever you're going to be working on is going to be fabulous that you're actually doing it, right? Because in this whole project started years ago on Instagram as a way to get creative people uh, making their art and sharing it. So there's no wrong in this. There's actually no rules. It's your creative project and you can do it how you want to. So don't stress out that you think, oh my gosh, mine's different. I'm doing it wrong. No, you're not. You're just doing it your way. And that's just going to be beautiful. Number five, don't give up. Seriously. <laughs> if it takes you a while to do the collages and you know I may have finished and you're like still halfway through it's okay it's not a race it's not you don't have to like be up to where I'm up to you don't have to be doing it as fast as I might do it you can go at your own pace but just don't give up because the creative development of what you're going to experience by doing so many collages and so much art is going to be so beneficial for your life in so many ways not just in your creativity and your art making but in yourself as a person there's an incredible achievement to look back and see how much art you've created and how many projects you've achieved I'm telling you this really can be quite a life-changing experience just saying so don't give up Make sure you're connecting with my Facebook group, Creative Adventures Making Art, because you can find encouragement there. You can find other people on the same journey. And that's going to really help you to keep going on days that you're feeling a little discouraged. So join the community, join me on Facebook and show me what you're up to and what you're working on and have a little chat with others in the group and you'll be encouraged along the way because it's a fantastic project. It really is a great creative adventure. And I just wanna strongly recommend you to jump in wherever you're at. Last year, I did the whole project in an art journal and I absolutely loved it. This year, I'm venturing into more variety of substrates only because, you know, I want to, I wanna use up some stuff in my studio. I wanna show you some different uh, mixed media techniques but you know you can do the whole thing in an art journal easy peasy lemon squeezy I've done it last year <laughs> and I absolutely loved it this year it's going to be a little different because I'm going to break up the episodes last year I did one long hours episode a man I'm telling you it almost killed me <laughs> seriously I mean it's crazy right we set our own pace but we set our own pace so full on anyway look at this piece loving this texture on this oh man I don't want to fold it over the edge I want it on the front I'll fold it a little bit and then I'll add another bit to the edge 
because that's a really nice section or that glorious texture so it's going to be a little different this week this year because i'm going to use different substrates i'm definitely going to use an art journal i'm going to use my standard art journal also going to use a black one that i still need to fill up and i'm going to use some of my travel journal so you know variety will be key this year just don't give up that was the point don't give up continue with me to the end and beyond and if you're still continuing uh, this time next year that's not a problem actually there's someone in the Facebook group that's been continuing and I think she hasn't even finished but she's going to start the new series like who cares, who cares? <laughs> just jump in at any stage and be a part of it you'll love it it's so much fun right now I'm pushing all the bubbles out and let's see how that's looking I might tidy up that side and I need another piece for there and then we need to look at what else we're going to do with this. But it's a fabulous start. I absolutely love this image. I love the shape of it. I love the colour of it. I love that I did all these prints last week, so I've got so many papers to use. So I need to think about, hmm, what else am I going to add to it? Might pull out some handmade papers. Maybe I'll go find my scrap bag. Yes, that's what's happening next. Oh, and one more tip. Even though I said five, I, I meant more. <laughs> have fun. It's got to be fun. You have to have fun. If it's not fun, I don't want to play. So make sure you're having fun with whatever you're doing. Don't get stressed out about it. Allow yourself to create. Learn a few more mixed media skills. Hang out with some friends in the Facebook group and have fun. This is like 100 days is like 14 weeks, which is three months. Man, this is a mini series. So you may as well just jump in, be all in, hang out with us and have a really good time. Because that's what making art really is all about. Having fun, hanging out with people who are really into what you're into and developing your creativity. Here's another tip for free. <laughs> Embrace your imperfections. Have a look at this. This is a beautiful jelly print that I did last week, but it tore pulling it off the plate. It caught on something. I do get in a bit of a creative frenzy, but this is going to work so well for the feel of what I'm creating with this collage and the glorious door that I'm putting it on my canvas. Embrace your imperfections. Okay, my print tore on the plate. Who cares? <laughs> Look how good that it looks. With this particular feel of the Venetian door and the way the plaster is coming off the walls and the glorious colours, this is going to work so well. So if your prints tear or your collage papers buckled or it doesn't print properly or whatever Trevor just embrace it use it put it in your collage somehow and allow yourself to be imperfect because that's what art is it's an expression of who you are and I'm sorry but you're not perfect I'm not perfect we're human none of us are perfect that's just how it is so look how beautiful that looks in all of its imperfection because the texture is working really well with the theme of my collage and that's gonna just look fabulous when that's dried yay there's another tip just saying <laughs> we're gonna have so much fun over the next three months <laughs> three months we're going to be playing this game oh man i'll be having a hard time just trying to sleep i'm having ideas i wake up early <laughs> all i want to do every day is make collage oh, so much fun now when it comes to the corners i just like to wrap them like a parcel i tuck it like that make it all flat and then cut it like you would cut as if you're wrapping a present. Doesn't matter which side you cut, really. And tuck it over nice and neat, like you do with a parcel. And I'm telling you, wrapping your paper around the edge really does make a difference to how finished your collage look when it's on canvas and how professional it looks. 
and it's really quite easy it's just not hard to do it's quite simple tuck it over wrap it like a present and take the color around the sides it does make a huge difference because as it's hanging on the wall and you're walking up to it you see the color of the sides before you actually see what's on the front so you know it just seems logical to me <laughs> it looks better just do it <laughs> All right, that's all tucked around there. Now, the scrap bag, that's where we were headed. So let's have a look in my fabulous, oh my gosh, I love it, scrap bag and see what we might want to add. Deciding is the hardest part because truly you could make your collage 10 different ways. Depending on how you're feeling on the day, the colors that you've decided to use, the scrap bag or the box or the bits and pieces that you have um, at your disposal it'll create a different collage so seriously we could do this thing 10 different ways and none of it's wrong it's just how it's going to be created today so don't stress out thinking that it has to be one way or another because it just doesn't this is how it's going to be today and then tomorrow's collage will be completely different but today I'm really enjoying these colors. I'm loving what I mixed up last week with the paint. That was really fun. And I'm going to work with what colors are going to enhance my fabulous door. Um, how much to put on is the question. I don't want to overwhelm my collage because I want the door to still be the feature, but I don't want it to be boring. So really the trick is finding that balance between interesting without overwhelming and not being boring. I know it can be a little tricky, <laughs> but you can do it. I know you can. And I can't wait to see what you're going to be creating. Yay! Right, that looks good. I'm pretty happy with that idea. Oh, I do, do have a few other hundred ideas. I need to fill the gap here. So I need to put something here. And I'm liking this Momogami paper that I had. That's great colouring, liking that. And then I need something up there. Mm, I can put one of my jelly prints up here. I don't really like that, but I think if I put the jelly print there and then I put some of my fabulous piece of Ogura lace over it, that will probably make me happier because the Ogura lace goes quite transparent and it just breaks up that harsh line. We might have a little bit going over the window there and yeah, that could work. Yes. Okay. I'm going to put that on, put that on there now. I want a little something for there, maybe for over here. Oh, yeah, maybe these brass circles might work. Haven't decided. Maybe the numbers. I really do like numbers. That could work. Mm, it's possible. I'm not convinced entirely, but it is possible. I do have these other numbers. They look pretty cool. Yeah, and the texture might work better. Okay. Here's the other option. This was on that fabulous piece of um, Nat Geo that failed entirely. And then I attacked it with alcohol inks. Yeah, it was an episode. I know. So that could work on here. That's, yeah, the colors working. Loving the colors. I can wrap that around the side. Yes. Okay. You convinced me. That's what we're going to do. And then what about over there? Maybe some of this one or this one. I pulled this one out of my box. Oh, yes. Maybe some of that one with some black and the bronze. All right, that's what we're doing. I'm going to glue all that down. Right, so all of those pieces are now glued on. It's all still very wet and the Agura lace will go more transparent as it dries, but it's looking good. I didn't want the blockiness of putting the extra paper at the top and the bottom. I like this because it's got more of a organic line. I like the texture of those fibers. This is looking good. That looks beautiful. Really happy with that side. So what do you think? Shall I add anything else? Oh, I am a little tempted, but I don't want to overdo it because 
I'm really loving this door and the focal point. Righto, so what I think I'll do is let it dry and then I'll decide if we're going to add anything else or if we're just going to let it be. Let it be. <laughs> Righto, I'll show you when it's dried. So what do you think? The collage has dried. Oh, <laughs> and I think it's looking pretty beautiful. I put a little bit of um, script it was a stamp that I put onto some white tissue onto there and there in a ready color. I forget what it was called. And the tissue dissolves, it becomes transparent and I just wanted the script. I like that. I think that's really cool. I might actually use that with the next collage. Yeah, remind me that I was gonna use that <laughs> because I'm liking it. Anyway, and then I did a little spritzer of some gold mine, just a little Yes, had to do it, had to do it, and it looks really cool. It's got like a speckly gold on it, and I love it. See how transparent the Agura lace goes? Fabulous, loving it. Well, I'm really happy. My beautiful Venetian wall here looks gorgeous. The colors make me happy. Look, the sides are all good. See how neat and finished they look when you wrap the colors around the side? Yes! Ta-da, ta-da! <laughs> Our first collage, one down, 99 to go. <laughs> so I hope you're going to um, continue to venture with me on this awesome journey. It's going to be fun. It's going to probably take longer than a week for each theme because, I don't know, man, I got carried away with this one. It's on a canvas. It took lo lots longer and it's probably not all going to happen in a day. So don't worry about that just keep finding the videos there will be a playlist that you can find and i'll pe keep popping them up through the week onto youtube i know you're going to love this i'm going to do some mixed media techniques through the collage process the things that i really enjoy making so that'll be a lot of fun and if one theme rolls into the next week meh don't worry about it it'll be all right we are definitely going to do the 14 topics um, that's on the list and if you want the list you can find it on my website but if you don't want to know until each week then hello you can be surprised this week we're doing doors so I have another six collages to do with the doors theme and the next one will probably be in my art journal and yay I'll see you tomorrow Thanks for joining me for the very first day of our very first week of 100 days of collage. I mean, just think about it, 100 days. What is it going to look like by the time we get to the end? Imagine all of the amazing artworks you're going to have. Oh man, you've got to join me on this adventure. So there'll be a playlist at the end of this video. You can click on that and find the other videos of this series will be in the playlist. I know, I'm so organized for you. Don't forget, if you want to know what the 14 topics are going to be, you can find it on my website, froilart.com. And if you want to download the digital collage papers that I'll be using along the way, you can find that on my Etsy, Froilart Designs. Yay! There's a particular theme, right? Just Google for a lot. You'll find me somewhere. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed the first episode today. I'm so excited and I can't wait for tomorrow.